Welcome to another edition of Mark's Inspiration. Glad you could join me here today as always. And it's a warm summer, sunny morning in St. Louis, Missouri today. Today's topic is going to be visualization. You have to see it before you can achieve it. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. That's a quote from someone, maybe Napoleon Hill, I'm not sure. But before we begin, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. We have a video coming out every day that I know will be of value to you. So let's talk about visualization. It's amazing how people don't realize or recognize that everything that began or everything that it all began with a vision, with an idea, with a picture in the mind of some man. Look around you. You see the chair you're sitting in, the desk maybe you're sitting in front of, uh, the house you live in. Everything began with an idea, with a vision within the mind of someone. So let's take that and use that to help you get what you want. Now a lot of guys want the perfect woman. Well, first you have to figure out what is the perfect woman to you. Maybe you know a girl and you want that girl. You don't really want that girl more than likely. You want what she represents to you, your perception of what she's like, because you may not even have talked to her yet. So you really don't know what she's like. Maybe you heard a few things about her. You think she's the perfect girl. Well, there is no perfect girl, the same as there is no perfect man. But you want or desire the essence of that girl, what you perceive her to be. But do you know what you want? Have you written down the qualities that you want in a woman? Do you even know, would you know if you had it, if you got it? Do you know exactly what it is you want? You need to make a list of the things you want in your partner, in your girlfriend. Okay, and focus on those things. Now, and opportunities will arise. If you visualize yourself talking to this girl, you really don't even need to put a face on it. But you can, you can use various faces, whatever you like. But visualize yourself talking to this girl, maybe kissing this girl, having a good time with this girl, feeling uh, the satisfaction of knowing that you have a relationship with this girl. These things will bring you opportunities to speak to various girls, to do certain things, to get you out of the house from out behind the computer to do something. Now, you can't just sit on your butt and visualize and think she's going to come knocking on your door and say, I heard about you and I think you're wonderful. I mean, that could happen, but the chances are slim. You need to take some action. So the next time you're out of the house and you see some girl and you think, man, she's fine. You need to walk up and talk to her. You need to walk up and say hi. Well, you say, Mark, I don't know what to say to her. It's easy. Hi, how are you? Simple. Gee, you don't need any complicated lines. And then go from there. If she wants to talk to you, if she's interested at all, she will say something back like, hi. You could ask her her name and wait and see if she asks your name before you introduce yourself. If she asks your name, that will show that she has a certain level of interest. If she doesn't ask your name, or she just answers your questions with one word answers like yes, no, but don't start out talking to her like, where are you from? What do you do? Do you have a family? Like interview questions, don't interview her. You have to go with the flow. Let's say you do ask her, oh, do you live here in Troy? And she says, no, that's not a good indication. Okay, if she volunteers information like, well, I just moved here, I'm from Florida. Oh, did you live by the beach? Man, I love the beach. Just, you just have to go with it. Don't worry about what you're going to say. Don't uh, practice what you're going to say. If you want to practice anything, practice the visualization of you talking to girls when you meet them and the conversation flowing. And then when the opportunity arises, you approach them and say hi and let it go, it'll work out. If she doesn't talk, 
That's okay, her interest level, interest level is not high enough. Now you need to be presentable. You need to always dress sharp when you go out. Don't dress like a bum with some t-shirt on with uh, KC95, that's the St. Louis radio station, had a pig on it smoking a joint, and, and your shirt untucked with a pair of old raggedy ass blue jeans or shorts hanging down over your knees and a pair of uh, Crocs or flip flops. I mean, I'm not saying there aren't some guys that can wear those and come off good, but man, why not dress sharp? Why not be unique? Be different from everybody else. Stand out. Hold yourself, carry yourself, and dress yourself like a man of high value. And then, guess what? They will see you as a man of high value until you open your mouth if you don't know how to speak. And what I'm saying is, if you practice visualizing yourself speaking to girls over and over and over again. That's how I got so many girls when I was young and I continue to have girls at my, how do I say, at my beck and call or whenever I want. Although I must admit, I haven't dated much since COVID because I don't like women in the USA. Now I have women friends here, don't get me wrong, but as far as dating the younger women here in the US, it's like Myron Gaines said, many, many of them feel so entitled. He, he said, he, he's interviewed hundreds of women, that nine out of 10 women would give up their boyfriend before they gave up their Instagram. What the hell is that? Okay, well that shows you that their interest level is low. And most of the women here in the US, the younger ones feel entitled that you should have everything that they should still be able to hang out with their boyfriends, still have Instagram, and still be able to just live the life of a single girl and you be their boyfriend. Now that just doesn't work for a high value man. I will not tolerate that stuff, nor I may put up with it for a short time to give her the opportunity to change, to, to, to uh, think about that, but that is ridiculous. And if you tolerate that, you're a simp. Okay, give her the opportunity to change or to eliminate her Instagram or these things. But Instagram for a woman is just a source of validation for her. It's almost like a dating site. All these guys are simping over your girlfriend. Why does she need that attention if she's in love with you, if you're her man, if you are providing and protecting for her? Whatever that provision or protection may entail. She doesn't need this. And if she has this, she's keeping her options open. Why is she doing that? She's still staying in the game. She doesn't want to let this go. You know, years ago, and I'm kind of quoting Myron, years ago, a woman actually had to get up, dress up, and go out to get this type of validation. And then she wouldn't get near as much validation and attention from men as she gets now. She has a world market. Now all she has to do is dress up, take a photo, have it touched up, uh, what do they call it, put filters on it and post it there, and she's got guys simping over her. But if she's your girlfriend and she's supposed to be your girl and in love with you, why does she need to do this? She doesn't. She's keeping her options open. It's just like a dating site. Now, I went out with a girl a while back, about a year or so ago, younger girl, I didn't realize because I was ignorant of social media. Maybe you're an older guy like me. Maybe you're in your 40s. Maybe you're 25. Maybe you're a young man of 19, 18 years old. And you've accepted this as a way of life. No, that's not. It's bull crap. You cannot have a relationship, a successful relationship with a girl if she's keeping her option open and staying on the dating sites, which is basically what Instagram is. She doesn't want you talking to girls, not there flirting and carrying on with girls. See, the deal is once a man is in a steady or LTR, long-term relationship, he's out of the game, but she is never out of the game. Now, she's more out of the game if she cuts off the social media in respects to apps like Instagram. But you, on the other hand, if you're not actively on dating sites, you're out of the game. You don't have girls approaching you and hitting on you all the time, but she has guys approaching her and hitting on her all the time, even if she doesn't have Instagram, but more so if she's got Instagram or whatever app she uses. I think Snapchat's another one uh, the younger people use. 
So these keep her in the game. These keep giving her validation from other men. These keep her options open. She's always got men waiting in the wing. She has a world market of men waiting in the wings. Most of these guys are simps just giving her free attention. Remember this, uh, what is his name? Uh, Roger Allen Curry, no free attention. Remember that, no free attention. Attention is the coin of gold for women. Okay, that's why the nine out of 10 of them that Myron Gaines interviewed do not want to give up their Instagram. Okay, they would rather give up their boyfriend than Instagram. I'm repeating that. Now, if you accept that, it's ridiculous. Now that you know better, you need to do better. But back to the visualization. Write down what it is you want in a girl. Okay, now first, you have to be that type of person. Do you have those characters yourself, those character qualities yourself? If not, you need to develop them because we don't so much attract what we want as we attract what we are. I'm going to stop with that. Got to get to work. We're grinding this concrete floor down and it is pretty tough. <laughs> but I love to work. That's what keeps me in shape at 61 and working out. So I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining me.